Okay, I recently got an asked a, a question on how I did this little uh, popping out name effect, so I'll show you what I'm talking about first. I am your usual host tomorrow with Edison. Adrian Heffernan is on vacation in the West Coast. And that's pretty much it. So it's just that uh, name kind of coming off from the side, popping in with, and going back. And really the question had to do with how did I get this little uh, color outlining and stuff with it. So I will show you. First thing you want to do is create a new title, default still, name it whatever you want. And I'm going to. So let's say I want to create one for uh, a call here. First thing you want to do is grab your pen tool and draw the shape. You can, if you want to use one of these custom shapes as well, that works perfectly fine, rectangle, whatever. Uh, but since I'm showing how I did that particular one, I'm going to show you how I did it. So I just kind of went and drew my shape. I wanted a little bit of an angle. And connect it. That's about it. Looks like this one's a little bit off. So notice what you can do is just grab the corner and set it however you want it. By default, then I'm going to switch back to the selection tool. And by default, it will outline it, but it won't fill it. And so what you need to do is go over to the properties. And in your properties drop, drop down graphic type, you want to change it from closed bezier to filled bezier. And it is going to fill it, as you can see here. I'm going to make it a little bit larger. The color, it defaulted to yellow for me, uh, or white for me. I don't want that. Um, there we go. It's a nice yellow. So that gets me the yellow that I want. And I want to now outline it. And that's going to be in your stroke. So we're going to select outer stroke. Select add over to the right here. And you can see by default it added a black stroke around the edge there. I want that red that I used. Hit OK. That's giving me the shape that I want. Once again, you can adjust it more and however you want using the properties over here. If you want to go with uh, like a drop shadow, for example, I can throw a little drop shadow back behind it and let's adjust the distance on that to give you kind of an idea. Just, you know, other stuff that you can do with it. I'm not going to do that. You can even do an inner stroke. So let's say I want to add an inner stroke. Notice now it added one on the out and one on the inside. Um, I don't want that, but I'm, so I'm going to delete it. So that's exactly what I did for this particular one. Next up, hit the uh, text tool on the left and go to sample name. And it's grabbing all those defaults or what it was set at previously. In this case, I don't obviously don't want to use that, but maybe let's go with one of the ones that they have down here. Yeah, I don't really like that either. So let's get rid of some of what they got going with the default. I definitely don't want that outer stroke. Um, Ariel's kind of boring. It's a little bell. Turn the text. Yep, still in black. And place it in here. Since my text is a little bit larger, I'm not going to shrink the text. I'm actually going to make the shape a little bit larger. And I'm not too worried about the placement of it. And I'll show you why, because we're going to actually do the movements and placements here in a bit now. Let's drag that sample down onto our timeline. Give myself some space to work with. And the next part, let's say I'm introducing him over here. Place it where you want it. So I'm going to want it to go right there. With it selected, go up to your effects control. And you want to check your positions and scales. So hit the little clocky thing here. Select where it says motion. It'll actually allow you to select the, the whole thing rather than having to um, turn the dials and stuff. So it's over here. This is where I want it to start off at. That's my starting point. I wanted to do two things. I wanted to come in, grow large, 
kind of give a little bit of a bump and then shrink up. So currently the position's fine, but I want the scale to be down to zero because I definitely don't want it to be showing, right? And then I'm going to move my timeline over just a little bit to the point where I'm going to want it to come in. Let's again, just kind of grab it, and you can see what's happening on the screen here. These little lines are showing what's happening, or the, the path that it's moving along. Added a um, point there, and this is where I want it to grow. And I actually want it to grow a little bit larger than the 100%. And let's move it some more. What happened here is my center point got moved. And if that happens, just grab the center point, move it back to where you want it to be. Okay, so that's where I want it to end up. And then I want it to come back, so I'm just moving a little along my timeline just a bit because I want it to hold there for a second. And I'm going to want it to go back and out here, out to the right. So the end point's going to be, whoops, keep grabbing that. The end point's going to be up over here. And the scale is going to be back down to zero again. So let's play it and see how it looks. And there are, I can ask you this, like there are a close view, like not far left. So I'm just going to move the timeline back here, the, the marker back. I'm going to grab these two and I'm going to do that. And then what I'm also going to do is so when it hits this point right here, that's full size, right? And I wanted to hold it that for a few seconds. So simply just grab those two markers, do a control C on your keyboard wheel this back here just a little bit and control V whoops I don't know why I did that there we go and I'm just kind of realigning these so let's try this again comes in holds here for a second and then fades away that's more or less all there is to it. You can kind of play with a little bit more if you want. You can get it to come in and kind of do a rotate or circles or all kinds of stuff doing the using the rotation and the position and the scale. But for that sample that, that I started off here with, that in essence, I am your usual host, Molly Benison. Adrian Heffernan is on vacation. That's all it is. All right. Hope you found that useful. And have a nice day.